What up, YouTube? It's your boy Tony, and we back with another one. BTS uh, explained. Because apparently I picked the wrong video, and y'all was on my ass. <laughs> no, nah, it was all out of love, though. Nobody came at me crazy about it. It was all out of love because y'all want me to get the best understanding of the song. And I understand that, and I support that, and I thank y'all for that. But um, I definitely got this song or this video that I should do, like, a thousand times in the comments. Like, listen to the explain. Listen to the explain. So I'm listening to the explain. <laughs> Y'all said I got a pretty good gist of what they were saying, but there's little intricacies that you can't really understand unless you're from like Korea or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't always translate the best over from English to Korean or from Korean to English. So y'all want me, y'all said this is the best one to do, which is DKD KTV. And um, that's what I'm gonna do. I appreciate y'all, man. Continue to. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, after this, I'm going to, of course, keep diving down the rabbit hole. I've been uh, trapped down here. Uh, and I love it down here. It's cozy down here. Uh, <laughs> looking forward to this, though. But, um, yeah. Continue to send your comments. Wolfpack, we finna go through this. Get a better understanding. See where I was hit and miss on. And what the little lyric video had messed up. Because y'all told me it was a lot. Y'all said it was having the wrong person lighting up when... It was this person rapping and they said somebody else was rapping. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. So let's hop right into it. Wolfpack, let's go. Hey. Look at him. Hey, hold up. That's my opportunity to try to get somebody, try to get somebody. Let's see. The one in the middle. <laughs> ah. Hey, I do. The one in the middle is RM. And I. Ah. That's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> So here we have another clever song from the BTS rap line spitting out fire, just like Dang. But if you thought this song was to diss haters and crush them, well, I would say that is maybe like 50% right. It's actually deeper than that. So let's dive into the real meaning of the song. <laughs> So Suga starts out with saying that the haters are starting to get triggered again and they get triggered so fast that even before the actual fuel is poured they ignite and burn themselves. It means that haters overreact and blow things out of proportion with the smallest details and in that process they don't know that they're actually hurting themselves with all the negativity. <laughs> Now he's being sarcastic and calling the haters a pro, a player that enters the ring with a trivial little flaw and keeps on biting on that and doesn't let go, making a big fuss out of it. So 동네북 is literally translated into neighborhood drum. This is a Korean expression that means a drum that anybody can hit on, basically meaning an easy target or person to shit on. Dung 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 is how Koreans pronounce the sound of a drum. The haters keep on poking with no reason, like a boxing player that keeps on jabbing. And if Suga keeps on ignoring them, they start to stab him. This expression, tamgoborida, is actually a very hardcore slang used by Korean gangs when they stab people with knives. The original word, tamgoda, would mean to put an object into a liquid, usually used in terms of kimchi or salted seafood called chokgar. The common thing among these foods is that they are all red, liquidy, and they go inside jars afterwards for fermentation. <laughs> So you can see why gangs would use this word in that kind of way. And pu is a word that expresses the action of stabbing into something very deep and powerfully.
<웃음> 물론 어째 나이를 처먹고도 여전히 무지막지 아니야? 요만 새끼 <웃음> 젓갈이 뭐냐 젓갈이 아나 요만 새끼 Now notice that the mimetic words 둥둥둥, 툭툭, and 푹푹 all rhyme with 욱 and each other and they all escalate by each line from hitting a drum to jabbing and stabbing So haters start off trying to tease and make fun of Sugar but when he doesn't respond they start jabbing and stabbing him The truth becomes a lie, a lie becomes the truth it's funny to see everyone suddenly becoming a morally perfect and flawless human being. And yeah, I know a little bit about this too. And I it seems that. like the typical characteristics of many online communities and platforms with people that have nothing better to do in real life than spread hate towards others. Get a life, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so that part I did get because I was saying like it's, everybody online feel like they're perfect. They know everything. They got everything figured out they've never made a mistake and he was basically saying that same thing and um in the comments y'all was also telling me that the uh means different different has different meanings so and he just explained that perfectly this is dope <laughs> and it does add layers to the song it does add layers to the song Life and spread hate towards others. Get a life, guys. <laughs> RM states that rage is an actual emotion that is sometimes needed. He says that people have the right to get mad at certain things, and that might be our history. The word history can be used in general terms, as in a nation or the world's history or in terms of BTS themselves, like how their success and legacy was motivated and accomplished through anger. But overall, RM acknowledges the fact that rage can likely change the world. Now, Korea is a nation full of rage against many surrounding countries that invaded and colonized our land. Also, don't forget the most recent incident of rage impeached our former president as well. <laughs> But he says that the anger that heads towards real quick. Um, so I remember reading that part in the little color video, or whatever, being a little confused on because day lyrics just wasn't flowing, <laughs> and I was struggling during the reaction to try to grasp, like, what are they trying to say here? So I kind of was like, um. Just intuitively, just kind of like putting it together, which was difficult, but it, it was dope that I was able to to put that in there where I believe I said something like along the lines of like sometimes anger can be used for good and sometimes anger can be used for bad and like we're putting it in the wrong places and things like that. And um, it's dope. He just confirmed that and it's dope that he was. He went into the Korean culture and what they've been through and so how sometimes anger has been beneficial instead of a negative. For him is not punno rage, but punyo human waste, pee pee and poo poo. He says that haters are actually killing anger with their fake anger, and numerous people are tired of that. This means that the useless negative energy or anger about stupid things haters throw around in the world is actually devaluating the power and impact of the word anger. I got that. Yeah, I got that. RM keeps on going by saying that your anger is not just killing us. We're used to that shit anyways. But the real problem is that people are getting insensitive about the emotion anger itself since it's so normalized and thrown towards them and in every direction. He keeps on going by saying that human waste and indifference is a team, which is what the haters are and deserve. <laughs> I think I got that part right. I think I got that part right. But for some reason, they were saying poop and all that. I'm like, there's no way they going this hard on this rap song and saying poop right now. It, it can't be saying poop. They got to be saying shit. They got to be saying shit. Or bullshit or something. They gotta be saying like, "I'm used to the shit. I'm used. To, I'm used to this." Like, there's no way he's rapping that hard and saying, "Oh yeah, I'm used to this poop." Like, it didn't even make sense. <laughs> it didn't even make sense to me. Haters are and deserve. <laughs> Not 
That wasn't in the lyrics. Ook is a Korean term that describes the state of blood suddenly rushing to your head in a second right after you see something infuriating. It's usually used towards people who don't know how to keep their temper and are hot headed. BTS cleverly translated ook into ug, very similar to how it sounds in English. And also gives that feeling of a sudden disgust or frustration. Then why does the rap line suddenly feel angry? Because of the haters? Well, not exactly. They're actually mad because of the anger that contains malice. At this point, they don't care about what haters shit on them anymore. They're angry about the fact that this pure emotion called anger is being used in such a malicious way to hurt them or others which result in nothing else but harm. It doesn't change the world or history, and that's why they bring up the word punyo, human waste, because anger is becoming wasted. Ooh, human waste, because they said shit, that's wordplay there, and also humans wasting the emotion of anger on, on pointless things. Y'all was right. That has, that has layers to it. That's wordplay right there. I'm I'm all for the wordplay if I can catch it. I'm all for it. That's dope. That's dope. I can see that. I see that. It's because anger is becoming wasted. Hold up. Hold up. Is that? I really want to try to guess and say that. <laughs> I know y'all got my back, but I'm I'm trying to learn here. You know what I'm saying? I like to be right. That's sugar. I don't even. <laughs> then J-Hope goes on and says that he's Dang. angry about the anger that got extinguished. In accordance with the previous lyrics, this means that J-Hope is angry that at some situations when anger was truly needed for like a protest or a good cause or whatever, it died out and didn't meet its final goal. Hey. Anger is being diffused towards random subjects like BTS themselves or, for example, <laughs> DKDK TV. They don't care, <laughs> and we don't care either, but if that energy were to be gathered and used for a meaningful cause, the anger could actually make an improvement in the world. So basically, stop shitting on Twitter and throwing your anger at random people and make that anger useful and make yourself useful. Real quick, um, and that's my favorite part right there. Um, I know exactly what he means when he says, when he says that and what what BTS was getting at was with saying that like y'all wasting y'all anger and y'all emotion on us right now when it's almost like the example I could use is like when we were marching out here for police brutality and all of that stuff like that the whole like Black Lives Matter movement and all of that it's like some things in the midst of that got lost because it's like people decided to be angry about something else instead of being focused on the task at hand, their anger was like pointed in a different direction and they lost focus. Now, we're not meeting our goal of what we're trying to really accomplish, why it all began. Now we're doing something else and it's just pointless. And the anger is going towards something else and someone else when the goal is never being accomplished. That's dope. I see that. That's dope. And he said, don't come at BTS and don't come at DKD KTV. Don't come at us. <laughs> it's bigger things out there than other than us. In general, they hey. go on promoting anger. They say be angry about things that are not just in this society. However, to the haters, this line has a sarcastic double meaning. It's basically saying, yeah, go off, go off as much as you can until you become ashes and break yourself. Whatever, I don't give a f <laughs> J-Hope continues to say that he understands that anger is a powerful emotion that moves and rules the world. 
But then he says that some people these days just can't live without being angry. They're just too angry at every single little thing. I said and they that. They go crazy with it. They're like, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, he points out that there are thousands of reasons to get angry about. Either if it's for good or bad, it is anger. He says that unleashing your anger is okay, but he doesn't like the anger that harms other people's lives. So he urges haters to stop that. Hey. So, um, real quick, just thinking back, like I had a good grasp on those parts right there, where he was saying, like, you know, some people can't live without anger some people just like to be angry because i brought up cancel culture and all of that because i'm like they just get mad about anything possible like y'all just looking for something like you can, they gonna cancel themselves in a minute i cancel people too much i need to be canceled but um <laughs> and then as far as like um like people can't live without it and all of that i had a pretty good grasp on that but y'all are right where the actual correct lyrics with a little bit of, like, more understanding of, you know what I'm saying, Korean um, culture and all of that, adds depth to the song. Like, and it just makes it that much better. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I heard this in English, like, if they made this in all English or whatever, and I heard this, I, I would have probably been able to catch that. But since it's like a, a language barrier there, and it doesn't switch over as smooth, it's harder to catch, but... I'm glad y'all got y'all led me towards these videos to help. And I'm glad they make these type of videos to help because it helps me understand more. Y'all help me too. Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all, man. <laughs> <laughs> So someone's actions can hurt someone and someone's words can make someone lose hope and someone's blink of an eye can become a moment for someone. Someone's anger can cost even the life of someone. Sugar spits out of disgust. Although these lines are universal and it applies to all of us, here in particular in this song, because they went to the extent of mentioning a life, Personally, I think they had in mind of the tragic incidents that happened in K-pop last year. Stupid and useless actions, words, mockery, and anger were wasted on such meaningless things about idols and celebrities. That some of these celebrities were forced to make a very unfortunate decision. If you think this is a stretch, then you should listen to the next verse. <laughs> This part is an impersonation of yes, haters what I said. and peasants. These He's jobless people him. keep on saying stuff such as, what's the big deal about getting some insults? You guys deserve it because you guys make a whole lot of money anyways. So stop complaining. It's a toll for being famous. So just right. suck it up. This is the common logic that many netizens would say whenever a celebrity brought up how they are suffering from or are planning to sue hate comments. <laughs> Try me. Just let me be in your place. Let me be an idol, and I'd be able to deal with all of that, is what the haters keep on saying. Justifying the hate comments and undermining the pain <laughs> celebrities have just yep. because they profit out of publicity. Then the haters say the word, ahem. <clears throat> now this sound or word is used in English as well, simply to clear out your throat, or show that you're present, or give an invisible message to somebody who's dumb, who's not able to read the atmosphere, or to nullify the awkwardness after saying something embarrassing and odd, like... <laughs> <clears throat> something like that. Anyways, as you see a lot of ahems in this part, I would say that all the usages and context would actually fit in. However, just to add one extra point of view as a Korean, the sound ahem was mostly used by yangban or gondes in Korea. So Yangban is a privileged noble class during the Goryeo Joseon dynasty that knew how to read Chinese and study Confucianism and were superior in class to all the other classes such as mechanics, merchants, farmers, and slaves. These Yangbans would use the word 
<clears throat> in diverse situations like when they needed their servants or when they would scold them or try to show off their nobleness. <laughs> also, Kunde basically means a boomer in the workspace where someone older than you that tries to force their way without any logic or reasonable reason just by the fact that they're born earlier than you. These Kundes casually use ahem to give nunchi, which is a Korean thing that basically means figure out what I mean or what I want without me having to say it with my own mouth. The magic word would be ahem, and everybody would have to shut up and comply. So the word ahem has a complex usage and nuance in it, but basically it would be best if you understood it as these internet keyboard warriors who think they are morally perfect, better than you, sitting on their high horses, trying to shush you and give you nunchi and saying, suck it up. So yeah, you could replace the ahems with the words like, suck it up, get over with it, or shut up. <laughs> While BTS is receiving all these ahems, if you listen carefully to the tone they're rapping with, you can feel a sense of sarcasm, which means at one point, BTS is saying the same thing, ahem, vice versa to the haters as well. <laughs> In conclusion, this song is mainly about BTS's anger against how people these days waste their precious anger, emotions, time, and energy in stupid things like mocking celebrities, BTS, and internet figures, and on, which sometimes lead to tragic incidents. When this anger could actually be used in a revolutionary way to bring change in history or positivity. Therefore, Ook is not a direct diss song about the haters because it seems like BTS has elevated to a level where they don't even care anymore about human trash. It's bigger than the haters. It's a declaration about the emotion anger itself and a lament on the modern day social contextual usage or waste of anger. Man. That was needed. <laughs> that was needed. That was needed. Uh, didn't even realize how much that was needed. Um, that was dope. It was, um, I know that's the song, y'all. I'm gonna do it. Um, the part where he's speaking on people saying, oh, you're rich, get over it, and all of that. Why do you complain about all of this and all of that? If I were you, I wouldn't complain and all of this and all of that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of celebrities deal with depression. A lot of celebrities commit suicide. Like, money's not everything. You just can't. They're still humans. They're still people. Like, people are just like, BTS are still people. Like, you just can't say whatever, call them whatever, and expect them not to be affected. Like, yeah, they... They don't care now because they've built up enough tough skin and enough, you know what I'm saying? They've built up a tolerance to it. But there's still a point I'm sure they have where they go home. Like, what? why is the hate there? Like, we put nothing but positivity out there. Why are they giving us negativity? But I'm glad they, they take that on and still push out the positive. And that speaks to their character as men. You know what I'm saying? Like, to, to be able to push forward and... Go through whatever obstacles and window matter what, huh? Like, uh, but, um, yeah, man, I appreciate this, y'all. So, I hope this satisfied y'all, gave y'all a little bit of like peace of mind. Like, whoo, he watched a real explanation and got some real lyrics of it, so he understands the deeper meaning. I do, and I appreciate y'all for that. Um, Wolf Pack. Continue to like, come subscribe, and share. If you're new here, uh, go ahead, subscribe. Go ahead, turn on notifications. Um, continue to put your comments in or um, tell me what y'all feel about 
how y'all feel I captured the song and how y'all feel um how y'all feel about the song and what um other requests y'all got as well. So Wolf Pat will be back. Let's go. Yeah.